our last speaker. <clears throat> Certainly, we always try to save the best for last. Good friend of mine, uh, John Schott, who serves in our House of Delegates as a representative, uh, native of Bluefield. John, to come up, please. Good afternoon. I, uh, I'm a guy of advanced years, and so I probably, if my life depended on it, couldn't tell you where I was last Sunday at this time or what I was doing. But like most of you, I can tell you exactly where I was and what I was doing eight years ago this past Friday. For those of you who were family members of first responders, it was a terrifying reminder of just how fragile the lives are of those people who choose that, that life. But for those of us who sometimes get into kind of a routine, or as my wife calls it, a rut, and drive mindlessly by the police station, or mindlessly by the fire department, or mindlessly by the, the uh, rescue squad, with hardly giving it a thought, or perhaps that the only thought we give it is, well, I hope I don't need them today, uh, it was like a bucket of cold water in the face. It was an awakening, a recognition, uh, awareness of not just the responsibilities that you freely take on, the risks that you assume, but, but the sacrifices that you can be called upon to make in a heartbeat. And so, like many others today, when I ride by a fire department or a police department or a a rescue squad. There are other thoughts that go on in my mind about but let's hope today is not one of those days. Um, so it's altogether fitting that we pause at least once a year and recognize the, the responsibilities and risks and sacrifice that you all willingly take on. Uh, and thank you. Give you great thanks for that. Uh, my role is today is to speak for the nearly 18,000 people that uh, live here in the 24th district. And so while I won't be as loud as all of them together, I can assure you that if they were all here, they would be saying thank you as well. And I can also assure you that a great many of those people would tell you that you have a place in their prayers, not just to thank God for what you're willing to do and the risk you're willing to take, but to also ask God not to call upon you to make that sacrifice that so many made on September 11th of 2001. Now, one of the smartest people I ever met told me that the closer you are in, on the agenda to, to the meal, the shorter your remarks should be. So let me just simply say that uh, thank each of you for what you do and what you're willing to do. I hope, like many in my, my district, that you never have to do that in a way that puts you in peril. Thank you again.